So we have three pieces of a 3D printed tool. And what we're trying to do is make a rubber piece that once these are all fitted, I can do a hand injection mold of rubber. Scan and 3D printed the hood. So this is a one-to-one -one Jeep hood for the new JL. But our snorkel kit has to come through the hood once the hood shut. And we made this bezel piece that after you trim the hood on the actual Jeep. I'm gonna cut this out. This is gonna get stuck on here and it wraps around. This number one seals the area and also seals the snorkel from the hood to the body once this hood is shut. So we had to make three large pieces in PLA and we did an injection mold of a 60 durometer rubber that I'm gonna do on this same piece here. So this is very similar as the first piece I made. This is the second piece I'm making. And this is all for our prototype kit for the snorkel on the new JL. So what I have here on the table is basically my big Lego kit. All these pieces have to be assembled I'm gonna flash polish them with the torch, glue them all together, and make sure it can live up to the rigors of being outside. So all these things that we're putting together now have to live in a pretty harsh environment. It has to attach the body into the brackets, and we put these, um, these pieces where the hardware's gonna go. So we have to put hardware through the bracketry into the snorkel. So we printed these nylon supports that will glue into the PLA tube and we do something pretty trick is we put these little kind of nut certs in here. So these are made for plastic and what we're gonna do is we'll draw up the hole. I'll use the soldering iron with the blunt tip and I'll press them in. As I'm pressing this in, it's gonna melt it into the nylon. So the process I'm doing now is what helps it live outside and in the environment, in the sun all day and to be able to drive it on the street. It's an epoxy two-part epoxy that's specially designed for 3D printed parts. So these are the brackets, the mounting brackets for the Jeep JL snorkel kit. Um, you can see here we have six brackets. Um, we'll cut these out on the water jet and then we'll go over to the press and bend them. And once they come out of the press, uh, some of these will get welded together. Check this out, come over here. So that's what that looks like. Looks like something straight out of Batman. We are looking to evaluate the structural soundness and durability of the design. We already performed in-house dyno testing and flow bench testing to make sure the snorkel design does not impede airflow and engine performance. So once the road testing is complete and it passes all of our engineering standards, we are going to send it off to production. 